So I get this question all the time. And in this video, I wanted to talk about my current best workflow for creating content. So let's just get straight into it. Now, in the description, there's going to be this link to this GitHub profile right here, this GitHub repository. It's not 100% necessary, but if you're on Shopify and you want to extract images from a sitemap easily, then this is the way to do it. So we'll copy this and we'll go to Visual Studio Code. We'll go to Terminal, New Terminal, and we'll do Git. Oops, we'll do git clone, and then we'll call this image extractor, press enter, and then file, open folder, and then look for image extractor at the top, and then open it. So what this does is it allows us to very easily use our sitemap to get our images. So we'll go to twomen.it slash sitemap.xml, open up the product sitemap here, And then right click, save as, and then save as. And then you want to drag the sitemap over to Visual Studio Code, put it here. Right click, copy relative path, go over to config.json and change this one here to this right here. Now we can leave the rest of it alone. You don't actually need anything else. So we'll go to terminal, new terminal, and then we'll do python extract images.py. And that's how we get a list of our products. So you just copy that list. That's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is you need your internal links. So we'll go over to the collection sitemap this time. And then we're going to use something called sitemap to clipboard, which you can just Google. It's a Chrome extension. And we'll click here, HTTPS, and then press start. That will then say URLs copied to clipboard. So we then want to copy and paste that into another thing. So I've got all of that here. I've got all of my collections here and then all of my products. And then I have my prompt. So first thing we need to change is we need to put the website. So two men dot it, and then we need the keyword. Now for keywords, there are loads of different ways to find keywords. There are loads of free ways to find keywords as well. One of the things that I like to do, one of the things that I've been doing for a lot of the companies that we're doing content for is I like to just go on their website and just have a little click around and see if I can find anything that would make a good article. So like coats, pants, we've probably done most of these to be honest with you. Okay, so instead what we're going to do, we're going to be using Google Ads Keyword Planner. We're going to press start with a website and I'm just going to do HTTPS. And I'm going to do gq.com and then get results. This is one of the biggest companies in the classic menswear or like men's fashion niche. You can see one of their biggest keywords is men's fashion. What you can do is you can sort by three month change here. And then this is what I like to do if I'm looking for like a lot of keywords quickly. Okay. So men's cool swim trunks would be a good one. I think I've already written this article though. So we're going to have to scroll down a little bit. I like to press three month change and then I like to look for like large numbers here. So let's have a look. Let's write like men's fashion here. So we'll press start keyword and we'll do men's fashion. This is a really good way to find quick keywords. There we go. Picnic outfits for guys. That's a good one. Actually, I might just do that. So you might see that this only has 90 searches a month. But if I get rid of this and I just search picnic outfits for guys, you have to remember that all of these keywords exist. It's not just the first one. So it's about 300. So I think that's fine to be honest with you. Let's do picnic outfits for guys. That's perfect. So where it says keyword in capital letters, you can just paste whatever the keyword is. And now we have everything we need for Claude to create a beautiful article. So the first thing is we put the prompt here. And then you can put this in a different notepad so you can control A, control C. Um, I, I, I would recommend doing that actually, because it takes ages to scroll all the way down like this. You can just see how long that took. It took absolutely ages. Still haven't finished. Still haven't finished. There we go. So we'll now paste that. <clears throat> and that goes into a pasted text like that. And then we'll grab these internal links as well. And the reason I'm using Claude is because it's much better at understanding the context of large data samples. So we'll just hit send now. Okay, so it is a little bit 
slow. But I definitely recommend doing content like this. It's much, much better output. Oh, is it really going to put a price? I don't think we have a price. Wait. Yeah, it's just making up a price here, so we would probably have to cancel that, but that's okay. And we could also just delete the price column. It's not a big issue. I'd probably ask this to run again and say, can you please delete the price column? But you can see it's doing a pretty good job of grabbing some interesting images. These are all fine. Some stylish layering options. I really like the way that it's actually um, laying out this article right now. It's got like um, the foundation shirts and polos and then a, a nice table, although it's made up the price. We can change the price thing. And then we've got some stylish layering options, and then it's just given a few coats. We can see this is probably a real link. Yep, lightweight spring jackets, perfect. And then comfortable bottoms, it's done the same thing. It's just done like, I really like the way that Claude has laid out this article. Claude does do a very good job of laying out articles in very interesting ways. Instead of what ChatGPT does, where it just kind of does um, title, uh, uh, main title, subheader, paragraph, subheader, paragraph, table, stuff like that. What it does here, it kind of like, it, I don't know, it just feels much more comprehensive, much more cohesive. It feels like a high quality article. And I'll tell you right now, these are ranking pretty well on Google. These articles that I've got, uh, I have a few live on various client sites. And they're actually ranking really, really well and really, really quickly. Much more quickly than the kind of 300 word articles that we were doing before with the auto blogger. So I've obviously had to change to this system because the most important thing for me is ranking on Google. It's not um, using the auto blogger. Like I'm not obsessed with the auto blogger or anything. Uh, I just want the best way to rank on Google. Let's see if the outfit that it's actually chosen would work. So we've got a blue. Uh, blue shirt, yeah. <laughs> this is not going to look very good. With this? Nah, that, that would not work. Oh, maybe. I don't know, I'm not very good at fashion, guys. I've, I worked in fashion for ages, but I'm still not very fashionable. I think the, the trousers are okay with these shoes, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think you would wear an Umbi over a Mariano. No, you definitely would not do that. But that's okay. It's done its best there. And it's got a lot of internal links. And then we'll just press copy here. What I would normally say is please remove the pricing because you've just bloody made that up. But I'm not going to do that, obviously, in this video just because, you know, time. <clears throat> but this is kind of the final output. What you want to always check when you're using Claude or any LLM is that the image links are correct. So you can just scroll down and you could see if there's an image missing because it'll be like a weird uh, format. All of these work. Another thing you should do is you should check some of the internal links just to make sure that they're actually real. Um, sometimes it does make things up. So Very rarely though, the new Claude, Claude 3, Sonnet or whatever, very, very rarely makes things up. So I wouldn't worry too much about doing that. And then obviously, one of the most important things, one of the things that people ask me all the time to increase on the autoblogger is how long the articles are. So we'll paste this like this. And then tools, word count, 1,185 words. So it's much better. It's still pretty quick. It's just as quick as ChatGPT4. And to be honest with you, the article is also better quality as well. That's it, guys. You can find everything in the description as usual. This is my current best workflow for ranking on Google. I have several articles where I wrote one of these articles and it's already getting 100 impressions within the first kind of 48 hours, 72 hours, which is pretty good. I haven't seen that in a while. So I'm hoping that this is a really, really good way to rank on Google. Another thing it does is it uses a lot of collection links. Now, we're not I'm not 100% sure if this is good or bad for SEO, so I'd be careful with this. Maybe limit it to 5 or 10 links. However, what I like to do is I do like to use a lot of collection links. I like to spread the power of the article across the website. 
but yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you're watching till the uh, till the end you're an absolute legend i'll see you very very soon with some more content peace out